Hey guys and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the famous consistent Jacobian matrix or the DDSCD matrix in UMAT and how it's defined, especially in elastoplasticity. Well, let's begin by saying that there's a difference between the Jacobian matrix and the consistent Jacobian matrix. The first one has to do with the variations of stresses to the variations of the strains. However, the second one is related to the variations of the rate of the stresses to the variations of the rate of the strains. I know that is confusing, but remember that every software solves a problem in the incremental manner. Moreover, the DDSCD matrix is crucial for convergence when bigger time steps are used. That is why the implicit algorithm requires the DDSCD matrix while the explicit algorithm does not. Now, let's focus on writing the correct form of the DDSCD matrix for elastoplasticity, or simply put, metaplasticity. I'm sure that most people have seen the Abacus subroutine manual. Nevertheless, they might not figure out how to write the DDSCD matrix since the examples are sophisticated as you can see it here in this picture. So I am going to refer to the article written by Seaman Taylor. In this article, the relation for the tangent moduli is expressed. This is the relation utilized to write the DDSCD matrix. However, there are some complications. First, what is the matrix order? Second, what is gamma and beta? Also, what is this new? And what is this symbol here? Let's commence by answering these questions. The tangent moduli is a fourth order tensor. Therefore, this bolded identity matrix is also a fourth order tensor. Gamma and beta are the plastic multipliers. Please refer to my previous videos. Nu is the flow matrix, and this symbol means the tensor product of two matrices. Recall that in Abacus, we use the void notation for expressing stresses and strains. Hence, the tangent moduli is a 6x6 matrix. Continuing with some clarification. First, we have the bulk and shear modules. Next, the tensor product of the second order identity matrices. And finally, the flow tensor. Also, Gamma and betas. H is the plastic moduli, which can be nonlinear. Sigma hat is the yield stress depending on the plastic strains. Adding all of these functions together will give us the consistent Jacobian matrix. This concludes our video. If you found this video useful, please support me by liking and subscribing to my channel. Take care.